During World War II, the Soviet Air Force, or VVS, played a decisive role, fielding rugged and mass-produced aircraft like the Yakovlev fighters, Aleutian II Sturmovik ground attack planes, and the Lavochkin series. These aircraft were vital in achieving air superiority and supporting ground offensives on the Eastern Front. The Cold War marked a golden era for Soviet aviation. The USSR developed advanced jet fighters such as the MiG-15, MiG-21, MiG-29, and Sukhoi Su-27, which rivaled Western aircraft. Strategic bombers like the Tu-95 Bear and Tu-160 Blackjack extended Soviet power projection across the globe. In this video, we'll talk about the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21. How is it built? What's inside this fighter? The Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21, designated fishbed by NATO, is one of the most recognizable and influential fighter aircraft in aviation history. Introduced by the Soviet Union in 1959, it became the first truly mass-produced supersonic fighter serving as both a technological milestone and a symbol of Cold War military aviation. With over 11,000 units built and exported to more than 60 nations, the MiG-21 not only reshaped Soviet air doctrine, but also became a global standard for affordable air power. Despite its limitations in avionics and range, its simplicity, high speed, and wide proliferation made it one of the most important aircraft of the second half of the 20th century. This essay provides a structured analysis of the MiG-21, examining its origins, design philosophy, operational history, modernization efforts, and enduring legacy, development, and strategic context. The MiG-21 emerged in a period when the Soviet Union sought to rapidly close the technological gap within the United States in the early Cold War. The Korean War, 1950-1953, demonstrated the decisive role of fighter jets, particularly the MiG-15 and the American F-86 Sabre. Both superpowers pursued faster, more agile interceptors capable of operating in the supersonic regime. Soviet doctrine emphasized point defense interceptors designed to counter American nuclear-capable bombers. The MiG-19, the USSR's first supersonic fighter, provided valuable lessons but had significant limitations in climb rate, fuel consumption, and control stability. In 1953, the Mikoyan Gurevich Design Bureau initiated work on a new aircraft, optimized for supersonic performance, leading to the development of the MiG-21. The result was a lightweight, affordable aircraft that could be produced in massive numbers and supplied not only to Soviet units, but also to Warsaw Pact allies and friendly states worldwide. The MiG-21 was not designed as a multi-role platform. Its primary purpose was interception and short-range air superiority, yet its adaptability allowed it to be used in ground attack, training, and reconnaissance roles. Operational History – Vietnam War the Vietnam War was the first large-scale test of the MiG-21 against Western fighters. Supplied by the USSR and flown by the North Vietnamese Air Force, the MiG-21 proved a formidable adversary to U.S. aircraft, particularly the F-4 Phantom II. The MiG-21's smaller radar cross-section, high-speed and hit-and-run tactics gave it significant advantages in certain engagements. Northern Vietnamese pilots often relied on ambush tactics, striking quickly and disengaging before American fighters could respond effectively. Despite being outnumbered, MiG-21 units inflicted notable losses, demonstrating that lightweight interceptors could hold their own against technologically superior but heavier U.S. aircraft. Middle East Conflicts The MiG-21 became a mainstay of Arab air forces, notably Egypt and Syria, during the Arab-Israeli conflicts, 
In the Six-Day War in 1967, Egyptian and Syrian MiG-21s were largely destroyed on the ground due to Israel's preemptive strikes. However, during the War of Attrition 1969-1970 and the Yom Kippur War 1973, MiG-21s managed to score victories and their presence forced Israel to invest heavily in air superiority platforms. South Asia Indo-Pakistani Wars India was one of the largest operators of the MiG-21. During the 1971 Indo-Pakistani War, Indian MiG-21s were used extensively for both air-to-air -air combat and ground attack missions. They scored several aerial victories against Pakistani F-104 starfighters and played a significant role in securing air superiority. This cemented the MiG-21's reputation as a reliable combat aircraft in diverse operational conditions. Global Proliferation and Export Policy one of the defining features of the MiG-21 was its unparalleled export success. The Soviet Union deliberately promoted it as an accessible and affordable fighter for allies and client states. License production occurred in India, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Czechoslovakia, and China as the Chengdu J-7. For many developing nations, the MiG-21 provided a credible entry into supersonic air combat at relatively low cost. It was rugged, required less maintenance than Western fighters, and could be operated from austere bases. Modernization and Upgrades By the 1980s, the MiG-21 was technologically obsolete compared to fourth-generation fighters such as the American F-16 and Soviet MiG-29. Nevertheless, many countries continued to modernize their fleets. Examples include India's MiG-21 Bison program, which added modern radar, beyond visual range missiles, and electronic countermeasures. Romania's MiG-21 Lance R, upgraded in cooperation with Israel's Elbit systems, equipped with advanced avionics and precision-guided weapons. China's J-7 derivatives, which extended production well into the 2000s. These modernization efforts kept the MiG-21 in frontline service long past its intended lifespan, a testament to its robust design and adaptability. Comparative Assessment Against Western Fighters When compared to its Western contemporaries, the MiG-21 occupied a unique niche. Against the F-104 Starfighter, it was more maneuverable and easier to maintain. Against the F-4 Phantom II, it was lighter and more agile but lacked the Phantom's advanced radar and long-range missile capabilities. Against later fourth-generation fighters like the F-16 Fighting Falcon, it was clearly outclassed in terms of avionics, weapons, and multi-role flexibility. The MiG-21 was never intended to match Western fighters feature for feature. Instead, its philosophy emphasized quantity over complexity, the ability to field large numbers of competent aircraft at lower cost. Legacy and Contemporary Relevance The MiG-21 holds a unique place in aviation history. As the most produced supersonic jet fighter ever, it shaped the air power of dozens of nations. Its combat record is mixed, achieving impressive victories in some theaters while suffering heavy losses in others. But its influence is undeniable. Today, only a handful of air forces still operate upgraded MiG-21s. Beyond its operational record, the MiG-21 also represents a design philosophy that prioritized affordability, simplicity, and accessibility, qualities often overlooked in the age of expensive, high-maintenance stealth aircraft. Conclusion The MiG-21 was more than just a fighter jet. It was a global phenomenon that defined Cold War military aviation for much of the 20th century. Born from Soviet strategic needs for a lightweight supersonic interceptor, it went on to become a versatile combat aircraft, exported worldwide, and engaged in nearly every major conflict from the 1960s to the 1990s. Its strengths, speed, simplicity, and affordability made it an attractive option for dozens of air forces, while its limitations in avionics and range highlighted the trade-offs inherent in Cold War design philosophies. Despite being technologically surpassed, 
it remains an icon of military aviation. In sum, the MiG-21 stands as a testament to Soviet engineering pragmatism and global influence.